Hi folks, welcome to uh, this week's Sunday Catechism, question five. Now, this is a really important question because it helps us answer two things and get things clear in our mind. The first is simply this, the kind of Ricky Gervais, atheist, fundamentalist, comedian line, which says, uh, of the 30,000 gods, let's say, Atheists go one further. Christians believe that 29,990 of them are false uh, or are wrong, and we just go, atheists just go one further. This is meant to be a witting and enter entertaining remark uh, which doesn't understand who God is. And then there's another view which kind of Christians who, growing up in our culture, think, in our pluralistic culture, will think, well, we, it's, it, you know, we have to be quite nice. And whilst the God of the Bible is fine for us, then maybe, uh, you know, the story of the blind man and the elephant, that um, the whole picture is that everyone gets different ways to get to God. And I think, again, that's a complete misunderstanding of what the Bible says and of what the reality is. So let's see uh, where we go with this. And uh, let me begin by just simply reading this question, and it's an easy one to remember. Are there more gods than one? There is only one living and true God. There is only one living and true God. I thought what I'd do is, I'd, I'll just go through the scripture proofs. Now, the reason for doing this is, there are literally hundreds of verses in the Bible which teach this. This idea that it's you cannot be a biblical Christian and claim that there are many gods or even that there are many ways to the one God. Let me just list them. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Isaiah 44, 6. This is what the Lord says. Israel's King and Redeemer, the Lord Almighty. I am the first and I am the last. Apart from me, there is no God. Now that's, is that true? Yes. It's not a lie. This is Isaiah 45, 21. Declare what it is to be presented. Let them take counsel together. Who foretold this long ago? Who declared it from the distant past? Was it not I the Lord? And there is no God apart from me, a righteous God and a savior. There is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no other. Turn and be saved. You cannot offer salvation through other gods. Paul, 1 Corinthians 8, 4. So then about eating food sacrificed to idols, we know that an idol is nothing at all in the world and that there is no God but one. But even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things came and for whom we live. And there is but one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through wh whom we live. And the language there is, is of the so-called God. Jeremiah 10.10, 10, but the Lord is the true God. He is the living God, the eternal King. Again, this is not a dead God. I mean, it's very important. There's only one living and true. Living and true, not false. John 17.3, now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. First Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1.9 For they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. The living and true God. 1 John 5.20 We know also that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true by being in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God. And eternal life. So you cannot possibly claim to be a biblical Christian and worship other gods. And those churches which have celebrated other religions, they are so far removed from Jesus Christ as to have made themselves non-Christian. Acts 4.12, salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we we must be saved. There is no other name. It is the name of Jesus. Are there more gods than one? No. No, there's not. There is only one living and true God. Now, knowing him, understanding him, 
being in relationship with him, that's not easy. Um, and none of this is to say that there is nothing good in, in, in other people who worship different gods, but it is saying that worship those God, worshiping those gods won't save them because it's fundamentally false worship. You know, it's like if my neighbor is a pathological liar, their pathological lying is really bad, but on the hand, as a pathological liar, they can still be really kind to animals and, uh, you know, give to the poor and so on. So there's some good, but that doesn't justify their lying. So I would, I would argue the same thing with this. And for me, actually, it's enormous relief not to know that I am right or that my religion or my culture is right, but there is only one God. And... That's just of the, the fundamentals of our faith. So God bless you. I'm going to leave you with Amy Music's No Other Name and hopefully see you during the week for Coffee and Colossians and see you uh, next week as we go on to Catechism 6, which is the very, I think, difficult question of the Trinity. So God bless and bye.